Hello guys, today I'm going to share with you the Nasdaq strategy which can get you banned from brokers because it can make so much money for you that they never believe that you're doing something wrong. Because this strategy is very simple and also is very powerful. So the news event that you'll be trading is NZD interest rate, NZD GDP, NZD employment change and these are the main ones that you must focus on for you to be able to get so much money from this strategy and if you do it wrong you can get banned by this broker so there's three parts to this strategy where you can kill nzd with this very simple strategy and i'm going to share with you everything and if you watch until the end of the video i'm going to show you how you can actually get this pdf and this strategy for free so make sure you watch until the end of the video and also like and comment on this video what do you think about this strategy and also if you can make so much money with this strategy so with this strategy there is the aging part the scalping part and the market direction part so the one part that can get you banned for good is the one that i'm going to start with which is the hedging part so when it comes to aging most people believe that that's when you buy and sell the same currency at the same time exactly like doing this so you open NZUSD and then you buy and also at the same time you must also sell at the same time. So this one if you do this on some brokers, if you have your trades looking exactly like this, we have one sell trade and also one buy trade on one current pair, most of the time you are going to get blocked by these brokers because they don't want this because it looks like you are cheating on them. And most probably you'll be doing that because if the market goes up and also if the market goes down you make profit either ways if you do it correctly but here i'm going to show you how you can actually do the same thing but they will never see that you are actually doing this so let me close these ones so they can actually show you the right way of waging that brokers they don't even know and also they won't even suspect that you are cheating and if they caught you also you can actually lie to them directly and tell them that you are not actually cheating so in this case you will need GBP NZD and NZUSD on your chart so that you can actually use both of them and I'm going to show you how now. So let's say now you have NZD news event coming right now which means that here you will see that if the news are positive which means NZUSD will actually go up and then GBP NZD will actually go down. So you to be safe on this one you actually buy both GBP NZD and also NZUSD both of them and with actually a stop loss of around 20 pips on both of these news events. If the market actually goes up on NZUSD, then GBP NZD will actually hit a stop loss. But if the market actually goes down on NZUSD, which means you hit a stop loss on NZUSD, but GBP NZD will actually go down and hit your profit. So this is what you have to do. Come here, open new order, and then you buy on NZUSD. Then you put a stop loss from an end price to your stop loss, which is minus 20 pips. So your stop loss will come around this level, which is 0 0.6149, and then you actually click modify. And then you do the same also on GBP NZD. You come here also, you place a new order, and then you buy also on this same current pair, and then it will look exactly like this. And then on this one now, you want to modify and put a stop loss right here. So here with the 20 pip stop loss, it will now come to 1.93413, and you click modify. So when the news event comes, you actually see that if it's actually a buy for NZD, you see that here it will actually go into profit and hit your take profit, but GBP NZD will now go and hit your stop loss. Here you are doing the same thing, but actually you are doing it the smart way, which means the brokers won't even realize that you are actually doing this. Because when you have GBP NZD, right, which means you have NZD on your right, when you buy GBP NZD, it's kind of like you're actually selling NZD. And also when you have NZD, USD here. So which means by actually doing this, you're actually buying and selling NZD at the same time. But the brokers won't even know that you're doing this. So you can see here clearly on NZUSD that here if the market actually goes up, it will go to your take profit very straightforward and in a very easy way. And now you can see that the opposite is happening on GBP NZD that your stop loss is hit just straight away when the actual pay is actually going up, then GBP NZD will be going the opposite direction of what is happening on NZD. So here you are actually making profit both sides and the brokers won't even realize. So you mustn't do this when there is no news event like right now, but you must wait for news event that I just mentioned before. Then you can actually do the same thing and you make crazy profit. Because at that time, NZUSD will actually shoot up and get to around 40, 50 pips in a few minutes and a few seconds. And then you actually hit your profit in a very simple way. The only problem will come when these news events 
actually make whip source on both sides, which means your stop loss will also get hit on NZDST and on GPP NZD, your stop loss will also get hit. So that is the only problem, but it doesn't really happen most often when it comes to NZDST. So the other scoping strategy, the second one, is very simple and straightforward, and you need an ECN broker, which means your account must be of zero speed for this to work. So in this case, you're just waiting for the NZD news event to be published. Let's say there's a news event around 23.45, which means exactly at 23.45, the news candle on NZDST will actually shoot up or will actually shoot down. So what you actually do is to wait and see if it's going to shoot up or if it's going to shoot down. So let's say this is the news event candle, which actually shoot down exactly at NZD news event. So what you're actually doing is when this news candle actually closes, you actually enter with a sell trade just after that, doing exactly like this. So what you want to see is that the market must also continue to shoot down when it comes to the news event because this will actually work in most of the time and the strategy is actually 98% accuracy when you actually do this and the news event actually shoot down and we enter exactly after the news candle actually closes. Then coming to the last strategy which works with NZUST and it works almost every time. After you master this strategy, you never need any signals on any news event which include NZUSD. So every time when there is a news event on NZUSD, just before the news event on 15 minute time frame and also on 5 minute time frame and on 1 minute time frame, it will issue an opposite candle just before the news event and then on the news event, you actually shoot the opposite direction. Just exactly like it happened today in the morning on the NZD interest rate news event, it gave a bearish signal right there and then you actually enter a buy trade just after that. The most ideal moment is that the news event must form a range just before the news event and then it gives you a bearish candle just before the news event and then when the news event comes you see a big bullish candle just after that. So when it actually does exactly like this, most of the time it actually gives you a big week just after that because that is what it does which means when you see it forming bearish candles and not actually form a range, you will actually just enter with a small lot size and then enter in the other direction and then you make a small profit there but it actually save you from blowing your account because of this big week. So right now I want you to comment below what you think about these strategies, the heading part, scalping part and also the market direction part. Do you think these strategies actually work or they are pure gambling? And also don't forget to like and comment if you actually learned something from this strategy and also if you actually go and implement these strategies. So if you want this Nasdaq strategy and everything that comes with it, the whole PDF, everything explained in detail, how to use these strategies and everything, go to the link in this video description and then you actually join the Telegram group which will actually take you to where I'm going to post this strategy and everything, the PDF and also the video so they can actually learn everything and actually implement this strategy. So join the Telegram group using the link in this video description and go and take that strategy from there. And that is where I'm going to give you the PDF for free. This is more by Forex. Bye for now and good luck in your trading.